Today I will go over the process of installing Pi-hole network-wide ad blocking application on a QNAP container station. Basically, Pi-hole is an application that allows you to block ads, malware, tracking sites on the internet. It works by using concept of DNS sinkholing. Sends all your network internet traffic through the app and to allow it to filter out unwanted ads, malware, tracking sites using block lists. It also has other features which I will not go over in this video. As you can see, I'm on the website right now on the Pi-hole and uh, we will be loading up our QNAP container to start off. Uh, container stations right here. Get here, go to create. Go down, choose the 1604 Ubuntu LXC method. Here we're going to name our Pi. Give it a say 20% CPU and about half of RAM. Hit advanced, go to network. Switch the NAT to bridge and use a static IP. I'm going to use uh, 192.168.0.2 as 0 0.1 is my default gateway, which is my router right now. Uh, we're going to go create, hit OK. Okay, it's completed. I'm going to go back to overview and we're going to see that our Docker uh, container is created. I'm going to click on Pi-hole and we're on the Ubuntu command line. And here we're going to do some updates first to allow for SSH and also for adding a user for Pi. Okay, now we're going to install the actual SSH. Okay, now we're going to install the actual SSH. Okay, it's completed. Now we're going to add a user called uh, Pi user. You can name it anything you want, but I'm going to use the default. Okay, then we're going to set up the password. First, we need to enter. Okay, and then retype the password again. Okay, we're going to name this uh, Pi hole. Leave the rest same. Hit yes. It's done. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we're going to change the user uh, privileges for this uh, user that we just created. So sudo user mod g sudo pod user. Okay. Done. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to test this SSH by using PuTTY. Okay, I'm just going to move this over here. 
our party. Uh, we're going to connect to the IP that we created for the Pi. Oh, that's the wrong field. Put up here. SSH port 22. Hit open. We're going to hit yes to this message. And we're going to log in as Pi user. Enter the password. Okay, we're in. We haven't set up Pi Hole yet, but before we do that, I'm going to run you through the before and after of what Pi Hole can actually do. Uh, so we're going to open up a new tab and we're going to go to VC News. As you can see, adds, adds on the top right here. Uh, we're going to try adds, adds right here, adds on the side, adds right here. When you get to the bottom, just all adds can see. Okay, and then we're going to close all this. We're going to come back and test both of those websites out. Uh, we're going to open up Putty again. We're logged in. Now what we're going to do is we're going to sudo su super user. Okay, now we're going to install curl. Go apt get install curl. Hit yes. Okay. Now we're going to go ahead and execute our pie hole setup line, which is right here. Okay, we're going to do some basic uh, installation here. I hit enter, enter here, enter here as well. Okay, here we're going to choose our upstream DNS. For now, we're going to choose Cloudflare. This is our block list. We're going to say OK to this. And V4, OK to that. And just to confirm that is our IP, hit yes. And now we're going to hit OK to this. And we're going to tell it to say, turn on the web admin interface. Here we're going to turn on light PD for our uh, block lists, etc. for it to run. Do you want to log queries? Say yes to this. And uh, on here you can choose what you want to choose, but I chose show everything. Okay, so we're done now. Uh, as you can see, that's our IP. And to get to our web interface, that's the link right there. And our admin password is right here. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna change the admin password as I don't wanna keep that. Now we're gonna do pihole dash a dash p. Enter new password. Okay, again, I'm going to type password. Okay, new password is set. So now we can go ahead and open up our browser, which is at right here. Okay, so 
we're up to date. File address is right. We're going to log in. Hit the login button right here. Sometimes it hangs for me, but I had to hit it twice. Okay, now we're going to log in. And we're in. Go back here. And we're going to go to settings. We're going to set up our. Look at our DNS right here. Okay, as you can see, it's using our Cloudflare and it's not using our upstream DNS, which is what we want to do to allow our router to push the traffic to here. So before we do that, we're going to go to our router. This is my uh, TP-Link router that I have all my devices connected to. Uh, it is on OpenWort uh, custom firmware. Through here, it allows me to put in a DN DNS uh, direction to Pi-hole. So we're going to do that using network interface. And under LAN, we're going to choose edit. And then we're going to go to DHCP, and go to advanced. And then here, we're going to type six comma the IP of our uh, Pi. Okay, just like how they say it right here. If you have two, you can set up both like this. Hit save. Okay. Now we're going to go back to our Pi. Okay, before I do that, I forgot to hit uh, apply. So we're going to apply it. Sometimes you have to restart your router for this to kick in. So I'm going to take a look back to our Raspberry Pi dashboard. Okay, no clients yet. Just thing. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to flush my DNS. I'm going to IP release and IP renew. So you can see it's still pointing to my old DNS. So we need to refresh that to for it to pick up our Pi-hole server. So we're going to do IP config slash release. And then we're going to do a renew. Okay. Now you can see that our DNS server has been updated. Uh, my router is still handing out the DHCP leases, which is fine with me. But everything else, every other device that connects to the router, I want it to hand out DNS servers from the Pi. Okay, so now we're going to test. Uh, I'm going to refresh this. Okay, as you can see, 1.4, one device. Okay, as you can see, there's IPs down here, so you don't really know who's who and what's what. Uh, there's a way to get to getting rid of this. So what you want to do is you want to go to settings, DNS, and there's two things in here that you need to do. First thing is you want to use conditional forwarding to allow it to give you your names of your devices that are connected. So that's the range. We're going to put in our router. And then here is our, what I'm going to do here is go back to my router. And to find that name, you go under system. And I believe it's under, sorry, network. DHCP DNS and it's right here local domain kerblan so kerblan I'm going to put that in there 
and we're going to hit save. Okay, so there you go. Now it has decoded my host names from my IP. Uh, what we're going to do next is we're going to flip. I don't want Cloudflare to be used as my upstream DNS. I want my uh, router to be used for outgoing uh, DNS. So we're going to uncheck these, put in my router's IP. We're going to save. Okay, we're going to go back to dashboard. Okay, now we're going to, let's release one more time. Renew again. Okay, I'm going to look at, okay, it's still 192.168.02, which is our pi. So now we're going to test our websites again. It should have turned off. Okay, as you can see, there is no ad on the top there, no ad on here, no ad on the bottom. Now we're going to go to IO9. Nothing on the top, nothing popping up here as you can see, nothing right here, nothing right here, nothing on the bottom, at the bottom of the page, nothing. Advertisements, nothing. Okay, and there you have it. That's Pi Hole for you.